Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant and today I'm so super excited to share this card I created with the new Me and My Dragon stamps and coordinating dies as well as some new border dies from Mama Elephant that create amazing scene cards with these incredible dragons. I'm so, so excited about this. So I'm going to be using the me and my dragon and dragon wishes as far as the greeting goes. I'm stamping my images here on some Nina Smooth White cardstock. Couple things I want to note real quick. I opted not to use the smaller dragon from Dragon Wishes for this particular card. I did color it in. You are gonna see though that dragon plus I colored the dragon in a different colorway to start with, um, kind of in some greens. I absolutely loved it, but I didn't love the backgrounds that I was trying to make to go with my dragon. Um, it actually worked a lot better to create my backgrounds first, even though I'm showing you the coloring first in this video. Um, and then I created the dragons to kind of complement or coordinate with that or this dragon. So my green and pink dragon, which is going to be the originals, will show up in another project later on. Um, I just wanted to mention that because you are going to see them here in this video. And I didn't want everybody wondering what happened to those. And I think I even shared my green dragon on Instagram. Um, it just didn't wasn't it wasn't working um so don't be afraid to switch it up but don't get rid of those things because you never know what they'll work on later so i finally came to the conclusion that for my background i wanted to use blueprint sketch and shaded lilac distress inks it's a favorite color combination of mine and i thought what would complement this and i came up with my favorite I call them purple, but they're all in the blue color family. You can see the colors listed across the uh, left side of the screen there. And to kind of complement that, I'm using some yellow reds to do the edges of the wings and the belly of the dragon. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. You can see the green dragon here. Um, I colored everything else after I had colored the green dragon and I didn't want to recolor all of those other elements that I was going to use. So I've left that in the video today. You can see two different com colorways there. These are the green colors I absolutely love too. I just need to find a background perfect for those. The little wolves are going to be colored in some warm grays. Those colors are shown um, down the right hand side of the screen. I love these little guys. This stamp set, Me and My Dragon, is very similar to the Me and My Yeti, where you've got some large images, and that for that example, for that, that's the Yeti, and then you have the small people and other critters. I love the scale and size of them. I think they work so beautifully together. Very, very fun. Coloring in the girls now, coloring in some skin, some hair, clothes. They're such small images. Really, I colored them super fast. I didn't worry too much about perfection here. Just got that color, laid down, and then went ahead and moved on by die cutting all of these images with the coordinating Me and My Dragon dies. I also have a background here and I was originally going to ink them together and I decided not to. The frame was die cut using the Pegworks frame die. So it's going to frame up my scene. This is something else I struggled with in my original card and I think if I just changed my colors I really could create another card just like this one to and, and implement my green dragon and my little pink dragon. That little dragon I colored with some peachy pinks and so really cute and springy. On the inside panel, this is all out of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I am using Distress Inks in Chipped Sapphire and Shaded Lilac like I mentioned earlier. I love these two colors together. I think it gives you a unique type of sky um, or background almost kind of a night sky without being dark. I love the look of dark um, dark skies as well. I'm using a cloud stencil to just give some interesting texture because this is a fairly simple card. 
there is quite a bit of coloring as far as the dragon and the other images but other than that it's just some inking and die cutting and putting it all together and those simple little things all used together create an amazing card so from another piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock, the same size, I did, I'm using multiple frames. I'm stacking one on top of another. So I guess I'm just using two for my card. So from the other inside panel piece, I'm die cutting the mountain range using these new border dies. And I'm inking this and my landscape up with Hickory Smoke Distress Ink, which is a great gray color. I think the gray complements the bluish purples beautifully. Um, and gives it a nice subtle look, you know, kind of that silhouette off into the distance and then the nice uh, gray along the landscape, along the bottom edge. Very, very simple, easy coloring. You could also use solid cardstock. What I love about the inking is that it gives it almost a little bit of texture. I didn't spritz this with water or anything like that, but you don't even have to. Just the inking itself, it's not perfect, I guess is what I want to say. It's not like if you die cut a solid cardstock, you're going to have that perfect landscape. And I really wanted imperfect, especially with inking the skies in the background. We're going to ink up the frame. One of my very favorite things to do, because I chose not to do the stenciling across the frame, I like my frames to coordinate or complement the um, what's going on inside. Not always, but a lot of times I really do. And I felt like a white frame wasn't working here. So I'm inking up my frame with Blueprint Sketch and Hickory Smoke inks. The Blueprint Sketch, obviously along the top edge where the sky is, and then the Hickory Smoke down along that bottom edge and sides where the landscape pieces, the mountains and the landscape go. This is gonna give it a much more cohesive, beautiful finished look. And I keep getting my finger marks in this a lot. Of, if you're inking up Bristol Smooth cardstock, it takes a little bit for that ink to soak in, to dry. So I usually try to grab a piece of scrap paper, which is what I'm doing here. I'm gonna get rid of all my finger marks. Make sure this is covered really great. And then I'm going to stamp my greeting from the Dragon Wishes stamp set that reads, you're a dragon, be a dragon, so go kick some butt right there with some black ink. I think that is hysterical, so funny. Um, the greetings and dragon wishes are amazing. Really, really cute. I've stamped that. I stamped the little stars from the Me and My Dragon with the blueprint sketch ink around the greeting. The one on the bottom left corner really is gonna get covered up. I probably could have left that one off, but before I had my dragon in place, I wasn't exactly sure. I am doing a few finishing touches to my dragon right now. I had a few little things, the tip of his tail, horns, things like that, that I had left because I wasn't exactly sure what color I wanted to do them. And I decided the yellow, I wanted to pull more of that yellow in. Then I die cut him with the coordinating die. And then to really give him a prominent look on the card. I'm going to pop him up with some foam adhesive squares. These are the scrapbook adhesives foam adhesive squares. They are low profile. So while they are foam adhesive, they're great low profile. So they're not going to stick up too much. We're going to put our flying dragon right here up above the mountaintops, kind of the wing and his body and the fire he's breathing kind of give the perfect little bracket if you will, to that left side of the sentiment. Put the fire coming out of his mouth. We're gonna grab a side fold card base. And I'm gonna run a thin line of glue around one of these frames that I die cut using the Pegworks die. Glue this in place on my side fold card base. Then we want to glue the inside panel inside here, the one that I inked and my glue hasn't dried yet, so that's stuck. I probably could have just put adhesive all over the front of this. Usually I do. I didn't do it today. Would have been a lot easier than using the liquid. Replace that inside piece. Now we need to draw a line of glue so we can stack the second frame on top. Give it a little bit more of a presence 
on the card. Glue that down in place, make sure it's nice and flat and even. Then we wanna replace the mountain range and the landscape along that bottom edge and glue down the wolves and then the little girl or figure standing down there staring up at the fire breathing dragon. And I'm gonna tuck those little critters in between the landscape and the mountain range. So really cute. Just a few finishing details with a black gel pen, a white pen to add some dots, to add some highlights. And that will finish up this Me and My Dragon card featuring new stamps and dies for March 2018 from Mama Elephant. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe to my channel for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.